Hey guys, what's up? I'm Erin and welcome back to the channel. So recently I've done a couple videos on cash surrounding the idea of making sure that you have a well-funded and a fully funded emergency fund as one means of preparing for economic hard times like a recession. And in it, I stress how important it is to make sure that you're capturing as much of a return as possible on your cash by utilizing things like high yield savings accounts, money market accounts, and CDs. But because I have an amazing and super financially literate audience, some people pointed out that perhaps T-bills should have been on the video's list, but they weren't. And you know what? Those commenters are absolutely right. Right now, T-bills are a great short-term investment option for your cash. And if you don't particularly know what T-bills are or how to use them, that's what this video is for. The federal government issues several different types of debt instruments to investors. They have short-term, mid-term, and long-term. Long-term debts are known as bonds and have maturity dates of over 10 years. Perhaps after this year, you're very familiar with I-bonds, which are a long-term debt type with a maturity date of 30 years. I-bonds made headlines this past year when their interest rate hit over 9%. Midterm securities have maturity dates somewhere between two and 10 years, and they're called notes. Then we have short-term securities, treasury bills, or T-bills as the cool kids call them. They are issued by the federal government and they have a variety of maturity dates all a year or less. Treasury bills are issued with maturity dates of four, eight, 13, 17, 26, and 52 weeks. T-bills are issued by the government to fund public projects, think build schools or roads, actually, as a Michigander, I don't think the money is making it to the roads. Have you seen our roads? Michigan roads are terrible. They are sold in $100 increments with a maximum purchase of $10 million. So the typical investor is not gonna be maxing out their purchase of T-bills. Just a quick little reminder for the I-bonds fans here, if you're purchasing I-bonds, the maximum purchase you can make in a given year is $10,000 per social security number. So that one's a little bit easier to max out. Now, as with what is typical for bonds or CDs, the longer the maturity date, the higher the interest rate, because the longer you're willing to lend out your money, the greater the risk you face. Namely, opportunity costs, as in what else could you be doing with this money? How else could you be putting this money to work? So if you purchase a T-bill with a four-week maturity date, naturally it's going to have a lesser interest rate than a T-bill with a 26-week maturity date. Now, because these are short-term debt types, the government does not make regular interest payments. Instead, the bills are sold at a discount of face value, and then once the bill matures, you gain your principal plus the interest. So if you buy a four-week T-bill, once those four weeks go by, you will get your principal plus your interest back. If you buy a 52-week T-bill, there will not be any interest payments throughout those 52 weeks. Instead, once the end of those 52 weeks comes, you'll get your principal plus any interest. Now, technically T-bills are sold at a discount of face value. So say an investor can buy a thousand dollar T-bill for $950. And let's say that this T-bill has a one year or 52 week maturity date. One year goes by, the investor gets back $1,000. So the full face value, their principal of 950 plus $50 of interest. In this case, the T-bill would have been paying 5% interest. And while that is technically how they work, that's not the reality of the investor's experience. If you are interested in buying T-bills, you go to the government website, treasurydirect.gov, and select to purchase T-bills, select the maturity time length that you wish, and then enter the amount that you wish to invest. This could be $100 or it could be $5,000. Ultimately, you choose how much you want to invest in T-bills. Now, the interest rate for T-bills are set when the bills go to auction. An auction occurs when new T-bills are issued. Competitive bids are placed by banks, brokerages, and accepted to determine the discount rate to be paid on each issue. This rate is constantly changing anytime new bills are issued. Here's what current auction rates look like. As you can tell, current bills are paying anywhere from three to over 4% meaning that quite possibly this is the best secured interest rate you can get on cash at this time. 
Even the highest paying high yield savings accounts aren't paying these kind of interest rates. Now it's important to note that there's a pretty big distinction between a high yield savings account and a T-bill. T-bills effectively lock your money up for the term length of the bill until it matures, whereas money in a high yield savings account is accessible at any given moment. But the good thing is with T-bills having such short maturity dates, like four weeks or eight weeks or even 13 weeks, these government securities can still be a great place to keep a portion of your emergency fund or cash that you wanna keep somewhat at the ready. For instance, you can invest a portion of your emergency fund into T-bills with a maturity date of four weeks and then keep reinvesting on four week intervals as they mature. Or you could build your own T-bill ladder. You could invest a portion into four week maturity dates and then another in eight week maturity dates and then another in 13, utilizing a variety of different maturity dates. You still wanna make sure that you keep some cash on hand and at the ready because you never really know when emergencies pop up, but they are great for a portion of your cash account or a portion of your emergency fund. So let's dive into why people like T-bills so much. T-bills are secure. They are backed by the full faith of the US government. Given the overall size of the US economy and the fact that the government has taxing authority over the people, you can look at these as a relatively risk-free investment. Hence why they make a great place to stash cash and keep it in a relatively liquid state. And yes, I say relatively because it is locked up for a short period of time. It's important to note that if you try to sell a T-bill before it matures, you can do so in the secondary market, but you could be forced to sell it at a discount to the principal that you paid, meaning you could lose money. For instance, if more recently issued T-bills are paying a higher interest rate, the one you're selling would be seen as less desirable. But the government itself does not issue a penalty if you attempt to sell these early. But by and large, it is best to just keep them till their maturity date as they are short-term securities, so the maturity date isn't that long. And as long as you hold them to maturity, they don't decline in value and that interest rate is locked in. If you wanna purchase T-bills, the barrier to entry is very low. The minimum investment is just $100, so it's a very easy access point. And T-bills receive some favorable tax treatment as they are exempt from all state and local income taxes. They are subject to taxation at the federal level, but hey, any sort of favorable tax treatment is a perk. Now, being that these are somewhat tax advantaged, it wouldn't really make any sense to purchase them within an IRA or a 401k. Those accounts are already tax advantaged. The best investments for those accounts are ones that need favorable tax treatment. But again, this does make them a great option for excess cash reserves or emergency funds. Now there are a couple downsides worth noting when it comes to T-bills. It's important to remember T-bills do not make installment payments of interest to the investor. Rather, all interest is paid at maturity, so they do not provide any sort of cash flow. Your money is locked up for a set time frame. And finally, there's interest risk. In a rising interest environment, which we are currently in, if you buy a T-bill today, the interest rate you get could very well be less than those issued in the near future, like say next week. That's not a huge deal if you're just going for four weeks or an eight week maturity, but it does become a concern if you lock in for say 52 weeks and interest rates go up drastically. But if the situation changes and we enter an environment where interest rates are declining, that's where you're gonna wanna lock in those longer term maturity dates. So you make sure to capture the highest interest rate possible. And it's also important to note that while this is a great place to store excess cash, these types of securities are not to be seen as competitive with something like the stock market, which tends to average a long-term rate of return of 10%. Not this year necessarily, but long-term it does average that 10% rate of return. This is just a place to store excess cash to make sure you lock in the best interest rate you can in a secure place to retain as much of your purchasing power as possible. Remember, inflation is still sitting around 8%, so they aren't beating inflation, but they are paying more than other cash accounts. So T-bills can be a great part of an overall well-diversified portfolio. What do you guys think? Do you have T-bills? Let me know in the comments down below or any other place that you like to keep your cash. I'd love to hear about it. I post new videos every single week. If you got anything at all out of this one, please give it a like. If you're new here, please consider subscribing or if you know of someone who might get something out of this type of content, please consider sharing. I hope you have a good one. See you soon. Bye. Means of preparing for economic hard times.
like a recession. Should one happen? Or if it's already happening. The idea that oh, high yield saving, no. You fund as a means of maybe we just die right now. We're four minutes in and it's not going well. Fully funded emergency, nope. <laughs> Videos on the idea of capitalizing cash. We're, I'm done. <laughs> I don't even want to do this video anymore. It's known as, I can't even get the sentence out. I'm certainly not cool. Dang. 52 week T-bill. Throughout the term, allocate towards this dead type. Or you could build your own T-bill ladder. CDs don't have a monopoly. You never know an emergency pros of T-bills. Can't talk. I'm for, I'm, ugh. That's not a huge if you, ugh. And today, the interest rate you got, ugh. The discount of the face, 